Hello one and all, welcome back to a daily run of The Binding of Isaac after birth. It's Cain and it's mom. It is not far. Oh, you died very quickly. That was surprising to me. Um, please, thank you. There is a self-sacrifice room very early on here, which happened yesterday. Yesterday's very early on self-sacrifice room, I believe was the only self-sacrifice room that there was. And yet, we still did extremely well, even though we didn't follow it. Uh, I say even though, I have a strong feeling that if you were to... Will you stand the fuck still? If you were to take the self-sacrifice room at the start of the game like this, you would actually... Apart from the fact that it's... Uh, don't really care for Taurus. Um, apart from the fact that it's super difficult to actually achieve because you don't have very much HP so early on. I think that you would not actually get as many points as you would if you just finished. Especially since not only would it be d difficult to achieve because you don't have any HP and the floors are small so there's not much opportunity for HP to drop, um, but you then have to do the dark room without dying. So all you would get would be the teleportation bonus minus the damage penalty. Uh, do you want to maybe try and re-roll that thing? I reckon we try and find a bomb and re-roll with that. I can uh, do this then. Okay, you won't explode everything. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna not bother with um, self-sacrifice rooms on the first floor because I don't think we can do them, and I don't think it's worth trying to do them. And I would like a bomb. Uh, Kane here, by the way, does start with the paperclip, which allows us to unlock all golden chests for free. Can you not be making these flies? So if you can uh, beat this boss a little bit quicker, I'd be super happy about that. Ooh, that was very bad damage. Uh, I might just try and stop him from doing that uh, really irritating charge attack. Unless it's going to help me, I suppose. It seems to have caused me more trouble than I'm happy with. If I can avoid getting hit a second time and dying, that would be great. I'm not too much of a fan of taking damage against uh, Famine here. But I guess it happens. Can't win them all. I'd like to win some of them though. There we go. We did get a spirit heart. No, uh, no bomb. We can go back and pick up some HP. I mean, how do we feel about Taurus? It is a speed downgrade. There's a small chance that this single coin will reroll it. It didn't. So do we take it? I'm fuck it. I'm taking it. Um. Oh, so slow. <laughs> we haven't got far to go. Being as it's a mom. A mom uh, challenge room. So maybe this is going to sort of interfere with that. Because um, we're going to be walking so slowly, we're going to have to make up for that somehow. Uh, and because our speed has started off so slowly, this may actually have been a terrible, terrible decision. And I recognise that it may have been a terrible, terrible decision at the time, and yet I still made the decision to take it. That thing's. Uh, I got hit. <laughs> we're speeding up. Oh, actually, yeah, uh, this seems okay. Excuse me. Where's the final baddie? Oh, he's gone. Um, it's a terrible decision because we are so slow and there's a very small chance, a very low chance, I should say, that we're going to be able to actually get any benefit out of Taurus. There's a fucking other one right there. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to pull here again. There's a very, very low chance that we will actually get Taurus to proc on any given room. We didn't even need to do this room, which is kind of pesky. Uh, because basically the way it works is Taurus will slowly speed you up during the room. Yeah, let's take it. Okay, good. Um, and when it reaches max speed, you get a period of invincibility, and then you go back to no speed again. So, you have to be on a room long enough. I think we'll take this for now. Which is about to happen. For Taurus to actually proc, you have to be around long enough for your invincibility to even start. And the lower your speed starts with... Thank you. Uh, the longer it takes, and then, of course, if you've already beaten the room, then you didn't get any benefit out of it, which is more than likely to happen on most rooms that we encounter. That was very risky, but we made it work. All the bandages we did get, which was expected from our boss fight there. That's extremely helpful, thank you. Um, excuse me. Which is... I'm trying not to use it too aggressively, but at the same time, it's really the only thing that's doing any damage to anything at all. Our tears are okay. I mean, Kane does start off with a decent tier stat. Maybe the deal with the devil will... Oh, that was awful. But what are you going to do? Uh, 
maybe I'll deal with the devil, we'll make us outrageously powerful, but I don't expect that that will be the case. And here is Taurus now. I suppose one thing that can be said for uh, Ball of Bandages in this situation... Oh, it's very tempting to take Moonstar here and Sister Maggie so that Moonstar activates. I've done it. Call me, call me old-fashioned. Call me frightfully foolish. As you will. We can't do the curse room now because that would kill us, but never mind. Uh, the Ball of Bandages synergizes with Taurus provided you get Taurus to actually work. We can open these, which is a rare treat. Taurus will not activate, by the way, on this room. And the reason is that the room didn't have combat when we started. We're very powerful now, uh, thanks to Whore of Babylon. I do think this this was actually a good decision, even though it may have seemed like a bad one. S spend all of our HP and leave ourselves with one has increased our speed and damage to such an extent that I think that we're actually likely to get through many rooms without taking damage in the first place. Uh, and therefore, somewhat go to offsetting the fact that we now have no HP, <laughs> which is a little bit scary, I will admit. Um, and it's going to take all of my Isaac skills to actually deal with it. But we're slightly faster, which means Taurus will take slightly less time to actually begin. We don't have a space for so we might as well take one. It does do a lot of damage. It does do some damage to the whole room, I suppose I should say. So, um, that's beneficial. This is probably a secret room. It has three cents in it. Maybe consider spending a bomb for a fourth cent. Uh, well, a few more cents, I suppose I should say, but. Not necessarily worthwhile. Spider Butt with a two room charge is actually okay, especially with these bastards around. At least they, uh, slow their shots down. And apparently their frequency of jump. Oh, blank card. I say we take blank card for the likelihood that we get something cool, e.g. Awas. Blank card Awas, when we're only going to the mom fight, will ba basically get us all the way to Shoal, which is considerably further than anybody who doesn't find blank card Awas will be going. Blank card High Priestess is okay. Uh, <laughs> fucking press the space bar. I meant to press a bomb, and I press the space bar, and that squishes you. That squishes you. <laughs> if you're the only thing on the room, it squishes you. And I didn't have any HP. That was the stupidest thing I've ever done, and it's on camera. So, thank you for watching. I hope that that was an entertaining five minutes for you. It was certainly an entertaining five minutes for me, and I'm going to go and play The Darkest Dungeon. Goodbye.